Hello everyone, it's Gary. Uh, I'm one of the biggest CSGO traders out there and I'm the owner and developer of the CSGO Trader app that you can see in the top right corner. Uh, do get that if you haven't, it helps your bounce rate trading. And uh, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, csgotraders.net. Uh, I know it's kind of confusing because of the similar names to my extension. And uh, this, is, this is a response to a question coming in from a lot of you, uh, which is where can I also find uh, people to trade with? Where can I let myself be found? And uh, I answered part of this, uh, this question in a, a previous video a week ago, but that was about me specifically, where I, I'm getting my offers from. And uh, I also showed this I also showed this to you in that video. This, uh, these are questions that I had on my Steam profile, asking where the people who 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 found me, uh, where they came from, and uh, this is this survey response is from four years ago, and uh, over forty percent of the people who come to trade with me back then came from this site, csgotraders.net, and in 2020. So this is a recent survey still on my profile. Over still over 20% of people who come to trade with me found me through this site. So as I said, it was around four years ago uh, already, but uh, I joined the site over five years ago. You can see it on my profile there. And uh, yeah, so the, if you you started at the beginning, you might be familiar with CSGO Launch. That's, uh, the two sites are quite similar, although csgotraders.net has uh, better features and uh, CSGO Launch is not around anymore, at least not in a usable uh, way. Uh, but if you don't know Launch, it's still pretty easy to use. You can see that people are posting trades, what they want to trade, and uh, what they are looking for for their items. Um, so there are two two sides to each trade. Uh, I have many of my own uh, trades posted. Let let's wait a sec for that to load. And uh, in the meantime, I can show you some features. Now, now the site is a bit neglected. You you might uh, find find some features that are broken or uh, you can see the site not loading for a while so yeah it's not not the greatest but uh, I guess this is the only tra real trading site that's still around that is that was built for trading specifically and uh, if you want to find people to trade with you you should still sh you should still visit it and uh, use it okay so it it did not end up loading. Anyway, I can show you some things. Uh, if you click on an item, you can sh see some details. Now, as I said, the site is neglected. The prices are outdated, for example. You can j might as well just ignore them because uh, these prices are way too low. I think they are from like two years ago or, or a long time ago. Like I would buy this uh, Karambit right away from the market if if this was not a lie and it was really just one fifty eight. Now uh, screenshot uh, thing also does not work because it uses uh, Matium, which is a, a great site, but uh, it's not working for like two years now, so that does not work either. Uh, I think float loading also does not work. So yeah, plenty of broken things here. But you can uh, find sellers of an item. If you have something in mind, you can just uh, find sellers and uh, you, you will get a list of trades and uh, users who want to trade this item. And you can just uh, go to the trade or uh, you can just uh, add them on Steam and start uh, negotiating or send some offers. So that part still works and now my offers have loaded. You can see that I have uh, uh, 20 slots for trades. Uh, I, I'm using 19 of them. I, I removed them a couple of minutes ago so I can post new ones and show you how that works. 
Uh, now I have, to, I have to admit that my trades, uh, most of them are pretty old and uh, I have a bit of an excuse for that because the site was uh, down for, uh, for quite a bit. Not uh, completely down, but uh, when you wanted to add the new trade on the site, uh, the inventory would just not load and I think it was like this for a year and I, and I thought the site was completely dead because of this but now you can see that it actually loads my inventory. Uh, so I have 19 uh, trades and by default if you join the site and you are just a normal user I think you have uh, 6 slots, 6 trades that you can post and you are allowed to manually bump those trades uh, by clicking the bump button uh, every 30 minutes I believe. Now as you can see that uh, I have premium my my name's color is different it's it's in orange and uh, if while we visit my profile you can also see that I'm premium. Now premium uh, is something that you might consider it's a bit of an investment uh, depends on how serious you are about trading it might uh, be worthy for you uh, and premium allows you to add more trades, which is uh, basically the m most important thing to me because I have a lot of I lots of items and uh, I need the slots to post as many trades as possible. Uh, instant inventory refreshing, well, that's debatable. Um, colorized name, yeah, that works. Price checker is pretty broken, as you as I already shown you and auto bumping which is really important my trades are getting auto bumped every 15 minutes i have uh, the six month package i always buy that every six months uh, now if you do decide to get a premium on the site uh, just uh, do it via paypal because uh, paying with the items and through bitcoin i don't think that's gonna end up working ever because uh, paypal is the only one that's automatic and uh, for the items, for the trade offer payment and the Bitcoin payment, they need uh, manual verification and uh, it's just one guy behind the site and he does not really care. So for some reason he does not want to take money. He just uh, really does not seem to care that much anymore. Maybe he has his own other projects. Uh, and that's a bit uh, shady, but I'm gonna let it slide. You can see that it's called uh, Sometimes it's called a premium, but uh, sometimes it's called a donation, like uh, donate via PayPal. Um, and they explain it here, but these are supposed to be donations. But I think this is a bit sketchy because uh, they are clearly charging for additional features. So it's a, it's a service. They're charging for it, but they still call it donation, which is meh. Anyway, there's a there's a leaderboard, leaderboard uh, and you can see me, I'm the sixth biggest donator or premium purchaser and you can also see my friend Oliver at the third spot on this list. So again if you do, do decide to end up uh, getting premium do it via PayPal that has always worked for me so far at least and avoid Bitcoin and the offer method because you might I don't know, wait weeks and might even lose some Bitcoin if if you paid for something that's uh, not gonna be not gonna be unlocked for your account and you are not gonna be able to use it. So that's that's about premium. Again, the most important feature is the auto bump uh, every 15 minutes. Well, that depends on the package, but for me it's 15 minutes and the additional slots for trades. Those are the two things that I'm paying for basically. Now let's see an example trades. Again I have almost 20 trades. I've clicked uh, on one of these and uh, you can see that it was posted uh, over a year ago which is uh, kind of shame on me, kind of shame on the site. As I said I was not able to post uh, new trades as I uh, as my inventory would not load. That was happening for, for a year but I'm um, but now that it's fixed, uh, I'm able to repost. Uh, well, basically, I will be closing all of these trades and creating new ones with my current items. 
Um, so I, I always try to maximize the value that I can get from offers. Since I have uh, 20 spots and you can put in, uh, I believe it's uh, 12 items each in each trade. So that would mean that uh, I can uh, create trades that uh, with 12 items and I have 20 slots, the 240 items that I can uh, create trades with. But as, I, as you probably know that I always have around uh, close to the inventory limit of a thousand items and I have uh, 400 knives. So this this limit is uh, I wish I wish I could uh, make make this higher. I would uh, like to trade I would like to post more trades if it was possible, but uh, it's not. That's the limit. So that's what I have to deal with. Now, when I have uh, when I'm creating a new trade, I will I will try to add my most expensive items to use those uh, 240 slots uh, of items most efficiently, and I usually just uh, group them. Uh, but I'll, I'll basically only post knives at this point, and I uh, and I group them uh, uh, according to knife types. So, for example, I I add some karambits. I try to avoid duplicates to save on some of the uh, some of the slots. As you, could, as you could see that I skipped the lore Valvon karambit because I have two of those, and it it's not. Uh, I don't want to take up a spot by by adding uh, the same same thing twice. So yeah, that was skipped. And uh, so w once I selected twelve items, I uh, I select what I'm looking for. And since I'm a trader, I always select any offers. I I also do sell items for real money, so I select that. I'm not in interested in gifts, so I do not do that. Well, I'm not interested in keys either because they are not that popular anymore and I don't, I don't have the space to store those. I'm interested in any knife and uh, I'm not really interested in any cases because those are cheap and I don't have the inventory space to store them. Now, I always add an optional note and I have a template for that which, uh, which looks something like this. I think I have a newer one. I just copied this old one from uh, from that old trade. Uh, and uh, where is it? I can just paste in this note. Uh, if you decide to, I recommend you that uh, I recommend uh, including this note, even if you don't have a template like this. Half of this uh, is just advertising for my extension, so let's uh, ignore that for a sec and uh, focus on on the other parts. Now BO means best offer and uh, and I'm always looking for profit so I'm looking for overpay uh, and I do not care that much what I'm getting I'm, I'm trading for profit not uh, I'm not using the skins that I get in game and, uh, and I have this little description as I said it's a bit outdated I have a newer one but I, I can't find it at the moment uh, if you have any special requests uh, regarding the trade, you should include that here and you should always uh, include your uh, trade link as well. Uh, you can find people's trade link on, uh, on trades, but uh, you know, some people are not that good at finding, finding things, so just include it twice and... Uh, yeah, you can click send offer and you will be prompted to do so through Steam. Okay, so that's uh, about posting trades. Let's uh, try... Let's, uh, gi let's give you an example. So let's say you have... Uh, what do you have? You have a uh, Butterfly Knife Tiger 2s and uh, you are looking to trade it. And... Uh, you like Tiger 2's uh, skins, so let's select some of those. Uh, Tiger 2's, let's search for that. Again, the site is pretty slow, usually. But, 
Yeah, it's com they're coming up. Tiger 2s. Yeah, so let's include Talon. M9. Uh, why are they all Statrek? Oh, I do not want those. What? Okay, that was weird. I'm not sure why it was posted. <sighs> let's see. I'm not sure what ended up, be ended up being posted, so let's see the matching offers, if that's possible. While that loads, I could uh, show you some other things. If if you visit someone's profile on the site, you can uh, you get a link to their Steam profile, their Steam rep profile, which is important to avoid scammers. Uh, their inventory loads on the site, but uh, that takes a bit of time as well. You can see their inventory value, but that's also uh, based on those outdated prices that I, that I mentioned. And the yeah, float float uh, values do not really load anyway if you found someone to trade with you might want to click on their profile and uh, and uh, check if they still have those items that that you wanted now I ended up uh, posting this trade uh, with only two of the knives in which were the Karambit and the M9 Tiger 2s and I clicked the uh, show matching offers and now it, it's listing items or uh, trades rather that uh, that uh, I should be checking out. So there's a guy who wants to trade his Corumbit Tiger 2s which I want right now according according to the, in this scenario and uh, let's uh, see the details. No note attached. Uh, so this is a guy who wants any knife for his uh, Karambit. Let's see if he still has it. It was posted 15. It was posted uh, at the 15th of 10 days ago, and he still has it. So the problem is, I think my butterfly tiger tooth is not tradable just yet. So let's do um, uh, let's do this uh, slaughter instead. Now I found the guy who has the item that I wanted and uh, just imagine that I'm putting in the the butterfly tiger and uh, since my butterfly tiger is more expensive than his uh, Karambit tiger let's uh, add let's add these two and let's send the offer. I'm not gonna send it because it's just an example just to show you how you can uh, find find people to trade with. Um, Again, you might be able to find a lot of uh, broken uh, links, broken features on the site, but uh, as I mentioned, it's still still worth it to use it because people will find it, find you through this site and you can find people to trade with as well. Now, uh, some a couple of more things to show you. You can uh, see some statistics. This uh, again, this offer has been around for over a year. It was viewed or viewed over 500 times, and got many many offers from this trade. <clears throat> and there is a nice list of uh, people who who sent offers to me through this uh, trade on the site. So that uh, that's cool. It's kind of an attribution for you to know who, where people found you. You can see that I have some replies to this trade, even though it's a year year old. I do not check uh, comments here, and I think I pawned it out in the note that I attach that you should just send an offer or add me on Steam because I do not read replies. That's why you can see that I have uh, close to two thousand of these replies. These are all replies to the post, uh, the, the trade post that I create. And someone replied uh, a minute ago. Let's let's check that out to see. Most of the replies are kind of irrelevant. Just some uh, people posting their trades, and that's one of the reasons why I do not read these uh, replies myself. But you know, you might only get uh, one or two a day, and uh, you are eager to trade, and uh, then you should probably reply. 
And yeah, you can see I have, I have some M9s added in this uh, post, also a year old. And this guy just randomly posted uh, this gut knife, not adding any comments. He is just probably also looking to trade and posting it uh, to as many uh, places as possible. Now let me see if I have some more notes. Uh, what else should I talk about here? Yeah, so I had a bit of an interaction with the site owner. Uh, it was a uh, less than a month ago, he opened the, an issue in the repository uh, of my extension and we, we had a bit of chat. I told him that I thought the site was basically abandoned, but he but he assured me that it's not. Uh, yet, he said that um, he would be replying to my email that I sent them, but uh, three, weeks has, uh, three weeks have passed and I still got no reply, so again, I don't think you should be trying to contact him because he does not seem to care that much. Uh, but when he replies, he seems like a chill guy, so props to him. And yeah, I forgot to say, um, my extension includes CSGO Traders not CSGOTraders.net auto bumping and uh, auto login and redirect. Uh, if you are, if you don't want to pay for premium, you might want to try this but this guy the owner said that he will be taking some action to block my script uh i think it's kind of unlikely that he would do anything because as you can see there are many many features on the side that are broken he does not seem to put in the time fixing those or simply replying to emails or people and uh, this was my basically my tour of csgo traders not net and uh, the first part of the where to find people to trade with series I will be doing more of these videos um, I hope you liked it if you have any questions regarding this site or anything else basically then just uh, uh, let me know in the comments and uh, do subscribe if you want to learn about trading if you want to see me make profit and uh, check out my extension buy skins through my uh, link in the description uh, from skin k um, have a nice day guys bye